likes to listen to a bit of music on the radio from time to time. And to do that, you really need speakers. Now, what I'm going to show you this morning is how to build your very own speakers. It's really simple, and all you need are the following bits. Firstly, you need a radio or CD player. This has to have detachable speakers, the ones with the kind of wires on the back that link to the main unit. You're not going to use the speakers, so you don't need those, but you do need the central unit, because that's got the amplifier in. Uh, you also need a piece of thin wire. This could be multi-strand or single strand, doesn't really matter. This bit's about one and a half meters long, that, that's okay. You could be a bit longer or a bit shorter if you like. A um, couple of small cable ties, a strong neodymium magnet. Now this is a disc type, these work best. You've also got a piece of wooden dowel. Now this is about five millimeters bigger in diameter than our magnet. And we're gonna use this for wrapping our wire around. You don't have to use wooden dowel, you can use a pen, a spoon handle, anything that's suitable, the right kind of diameter. We've also got electrical tape, scissors, and a disposable plastic cup. And of course, a nice cup of tea. The cup of tea is optional, you can have coffee, hot chocolate, anything you like. Now our first step is to strip the ends off of the wire. We need to take the insulation off so that the wire underneath is bare. Now just find the centre of the wire, just fold it in half and just pinch it together in the centre, just so you know where the centre is. Then you get your piece of wooden dowel or whatever you happen to be using, hook it over like that, turn the wire three or four times, doesn't really matter how many, one way, and then on the other side three or four times the other way. Now that's not particularly important that you do three or four times each way, it's just so that the remaining lengths of wire end up more or less the same length. So don't worry about it, if they're not the same length just trim them after you've finished. Next what we need to do is carefully slide the coil off of our piece of wooden dowel. Now this is really the fiddliest bit about the whole thing because what you have to do now is Gently ease the coil off of whatever you've wound it around. Try and keep the, the loops as close together as possible. And then use one of the cable ties just to hold it together. Like that. That can be useful if you've got a partner somebody else to help you just hold it as you do this and then use the second cable tie just to hold the other side like that. Put the knobbly bits of the cable ties on the outside because we need as much space as we've got or as we can in the middle there and then just use a pair of scissors to trim off the untidy ends and there's your coil. Now once you've made your coil what you need to do is stick your magnet onto the end of your cup. Now we're going to do this with tape, if you want to you can do it with a hot glue gun or something like that that will hold it in position better uh, but with tape obviously you can remove the magnet and use it for something else afterwards if you want to. So we just put some tape over it like that, to hold it in position, scrunch the tape around it so we can fit the coil over the top like so. Now the next step is to fit the coil over the magnet and that's very easy. All you do is take the coil, place it over the magnet like that and get yourself a couple more pieces of tape to just Hold the coil down nice and tight around the magnet. And our final step is just to connect it up and listen to it. So to connect it up, usually on the back of these stereos, you have sockets where the speaker wires go. And you simply, it doesn't matter which wire you put where, but you put one into the red socket and one into the corresponding black socket
So the question is, why does it work? Uh, and the reason is quite simple, really. Through this wire, we have an electrical current flowing. And when you have an electrical current flowing through a wire, you get a magnetic field. Now, because that electrical current is varying, so is the magnetic field. Now, we've also got a magnet here. So as the varying magnetic field from the wire interacts with that magnet, it causes it to vibrate. And because we've attached it to this cup, the cup vibrates and it produces sound. And we can hear that sound as the music, etc., that's playing from the stereo. Now, you don't have to use a cup. You can use balloons. You can put these on glass. You can try all kinds of different surfaces and containers, etc., and see which one makes the best speaker. You can try different amounts of coils. You can try bigger or smaller magnets and see what effect that has.